What's up guys, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and one thing I realized I hadn't talked about yet is the Power BI admin role. So guess what we're gonna talk about today? Cue the intro. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And the Power BI admin area is an area of Power BI that I'm very passionate about. I love it. And I was surprised when I realized I hadn't talked about the Power BI admin role. This is something that was announced a while ago and I just haven't dug into it. I've talked with it a few times with other people. So let's take a look at what this is and what you can do with it. So first off, the Power BI Service Administrator role is a role inside of Office 365. You have other roles that are part of this, such as the Global Admin role, there's a user role, there's, a, there's roles for billing, there's all sorts of things that you can assign inside of Office 365. And the Power BI Service Administrator is one of those roles. So who can assign this role? Anyone that has a Global Admin role assigned to them can assign other roles to other users. That's from a tenant perspective. So your global admin can assign users the Power BI Service Administrator role. Now, you may be listening to this or watching this and saying, hey, I'm not a global admin for my tenant, so I don't care about this. And you should though, because if you are someone that has influence over Power BI in your organization, or you're in a role that you're kind of managing Power BI for your organization, and you're not a global admin, or you're not a tenant admin of your tenant, this may be something that you want to go reach out to them and see if they can assign this role to you to help with managing Power BI in your organization. It'll take some load off of them, and it'll help you have better control over what's going on in the Power BI area. Okay, so global admins are the ones that assign this. They can do this in one of two ways. The first way is through the Office 365 Admin Center. The way that they will do that is by going into the users area, go to active users, select a user that's in their list, and then edit the role for that user. They can actually do this for multiple users at a time, but let's just look at a single user. When you edit a role, you wanna select customize administrators, and then there will be a list under that that you can select which one you want them to have. Power BI Service Administrator is one of those items in that list. So select that, go ahead and save it, and the next time that that user logs into Power BI, they will be in that Power BI Service Administrator role. And we'll talk in a little bit about what you actually get access to. The other way that you can assign users is through PowerShell. And this is actually done through the Azure AD commandlets for PowerShell. All of the Office 365 management items for the users and whatnot, that's all done through these PowerShell commandlets. And there's two different versions of this, version one and version two. Version two has a few extra steps to it, whereas version one just has a single command that you can use. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm gonna focus on the version two of the Azure AD commandlets. You're gonna to wanna to open up a PowerShell command prompt. You may have to open this up with admin rights and you're gonna to need to connect to Azure itself. So after you run the connect command, what we're gonna to have to do first is get a list of the roles in your tenant because it's gonna list out the GUID and we need that GUID for the final command. So the command you're gonna run is get-azure ad directory role. This will give you a list of the roles in your tenant. You're gonna to wanna to copy that GUID that's part of that. Next, you're gonna to wanna to get the ID for the user that you wanna assign this role to. And we can do that by running the get-azure ad user command with the dash search string, and then in single quotes, put in the UPN for that user. It looks like an email address. When you do that, you'll get a response back and you can copy in the ID of that user. The last step that we're gonna run that ties this all together is to run the add-azure ad directory role member command. And this command has two parameters that we're going to pass into it. The first is object ID. That is going to be the GUID of the role that we got before. And then the other parameter is ref object ID, which is the user's GUID, the ID that we got from the get user command. Once you run that command, that will assign the role to that user and they're good to go. Okay, so that's how you assign the role. Now let's talk about what does this actually get you? The biggest thing this gets you is access to the Power BI admin portal inside of the Power BI service itself. So if you're a global admin or you have this Power BI service administrator role assigned to you, you can go to the gear in the upper right and then choose admin portal. And that will get you to an area where you can look at usage statistics. You'll have links out to the Office 365 Admin Center for managing users and groups. You'll have a link out to the Security Compliance Center 
for the audit log and you will get access to the tenant settings where you can control how users can interact with the service and what features they may or may not have access to. Let's talk about what this doesn't get you. Even though there are links to the Office 365 Admin Center and to the Security and Compliance Center for the audit log, just by having the Power BI Service Administrator role assigned to you does not give you access to those tools. You would need additional rights to your account in order to actually access those items. Global admins will be able to access all of that. But if you only have the Power BI Service Administrator role, you're not gonna have access to that. I do have a video where I talk about the ability to add access to the audit log for users that aren't a global admin. So you can check that out if you do wanna get access to the audit log, it is possible without being a global admin, but you don't get that with just the Power BI Service Administrator log because the audit log is not technically part of Power BI. We just add our entries into that. It's actually part of Exchange Online and part of the overall Office 365 infrastructure. And so the Power BI admin role doesn't give that to you. Okay, did that clear things up for you or do you still have questions about the administrator role or even the admin portal that's part of Power BI? Go and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. Next week, I'm gonna have a video where I'm gonna update the Power BI admin role article and show you a behind the scenes of how I do documentation here at Microsoft. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more great content from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.